Today I'm going to be doing a makeup decluttering, which essentially when I do these videos on my channel, it's kind of just giving you guys an update of what all I have in my makeup collection. I'm like a normal gal, so I just keep my makeup in my mini suitcase, I call it. And I just go through everything and show you what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of and mostly what I'm gonna keep because I have issues letting go. So that's what the video is going to be. I will link all of my fave products that I mentioned down below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Let me know what else you guys wanna see and uh, let's get on with the video. I know, I can't believe we're here again. <laughs> either okay everything's always in shambles that's where i'm at in my life this is where we're starting with both my makeup bag truly gorgeous this is everything i own actually i'm lying i have a few things in a cabinet that i can't part ways with but this is everything i use day to day and this is the starting point i'm gonna start with this little section here this is where i keep all my smaller brushes and some miscellaneous items uh oh lord things are already falling apart i don't know what to say here are all my smaller brushes I use. Oh boy. I'm not gonna, you guys, if you've seen my declutterings before, you know I keep everything. So <laughs> these are all of my brushes I use. This is my highlight ink brush from Morphe. Then I have some. Also, they're not clean because I am who I am. These are Luxie brushes, all the pink ones. But my favorite brushes are from Real Techniques, not gonna lie. This one I use for inner corner highlighting. And this is like my favorite brush. I use it for setting. It's also from Real Techniques. I'll link it. And then I use this like all the time for shadow liner. It's just this old ass brush from it. You can barely even tell. There we go. It's going really well so far. These are like all my eyeliners and mascaras. First things first, keeping this brush, I use it for nose contour, another Luxie brush. Now this is a Victoria Beckham liner. I love Victoria Beckham liners. They're just so expensive. And then it comes with a smudger on the other end too. So I definitely recommend Victoria Beckham liners. You can only get them from Victoria Beckham Beauty website. This is what I use for my brows. It's like $3 from e.l.f. I lost the cap, but anyways, does the job. This I'm getting rid of. Woohoo! This is the makeup by Mario Eyeliner. I made a video on it forever ago and I actually don't like it anymore. I used to like it a lot. I was trying to replace my Marc Jacobs liner and I thought this was a decent replacement, but as you can see, the little smudger is just a brush that flares from the cap and then it's dried out a bunch. I don't know, I don't, this is not how I remember it being, um, but it's just dried out a lot. And now that I'm swatching, I'm like, should I keep it? But I never like it when I use it and it's literally two years old. So I guess we'll get rid of this. This is my eyebrow gel I use. As you can tell, the name's not on it. It's from Benefit. This is a liner I never use from NYX. If I want to have an inner corner, I just feel like this is not great. So we're gonna get rid of this. This is from ColourPop, literally never use it and this is falling out. So let's just get rid of it. But wait, look at that. Maybe I could use it as an eyeshadow. Okay, we're gonna try. <laughs> I just bought this from Sephora. I heard good things about their eyeliner and I do like it. It's in the color Sangria. So next time I need a brown liner, I think I'm just gonna get the Sephora brand. And then my favorite eyeliner is this Melt Cosmetics one. I literally just got this a few months ago and it's so creamy that it get, runs out so fast. So that's my one gripe with it. It just, it's too, oh my God, Murphy. He, now the dog's knocking over the tripod. What are you doing? Okay, moving along. But this is my everyday waterline and tightline eyeliner. This, oh my God, guys, this is the same tube I recorded videos with forever ago. It's so dry. I feel like I need to get rid of it, but I feel like I need to keep it. It really just did a lot for my channel, but I guess I can always repurchase if I need to record with it again. It's probably not good with me. I've had multiple styes with this mascara, so we'll get rid of it. I've been trying out this mascara because I wanted a waterproof mas or non-waterproof mascara that's easier to take off. I don't like it. I feel like my eyelashes do not lift at all in it. They just fall right away, but this is the mascara I'm currently using and I'm not gonna be wasteful. This is my favorite. It's just waterproof and impossible to take off. And then this, these are two trial mascaras. I'm not crazy about this Cali Ray one. It's just very natural and not my vibe. This is a Gucci one that I was good with. I did like this one, but I'm not gonna go buy Gucci mascara when I can get something from the drugstore. So we're gonna get rid of these as well. Now the dogs are playing. Oh, they can't. What are we doing? I'm trying to record. Hello? Sammy! Oh boy. Yeah, now the dogs are just playing and disrupting everything. This is going really well. 
This is my cream concealer section. I tried to buy a e.l.f. curling wand. Don't do it, it's like three bucks, it does absolutely nothing. I just bought it, but I'm getting rid of it. If you've been here a while, you know I use shade cream. It's just good coverage and a very nice natural finish. This is the OG Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I use this as a highlighter under concealer sometimes. And then I don't really use foundation, but I have this Nude Glow CC Cream that I do like from IT. I don't think I'd repurchase, but I'm gonna finish it. This is for the summer when I'm a little bit tanner. And then of course, I can't get rid of sunscreens. I have the Unseen Sunscreen. This is like a pore filling one. And then the Glow Screen, which is like a highlight. And then two more concealers. Lancome, I'm not crazy about this one. It's not the highest coverage. I don't think I'd repurchase, but I need to finish it. And then this one that I got gifted by Il Maquillage. Once again, not the highest coverage. I think this is one for no makeup, makeup days, which I don't have very often, but needless to say, I will keep them. And of course, I need to keep a curling iron or curling wand for my eyelashes. Now we are in the big daddy, big daddy of them all. So I got this random sponge, works really well. As you can see, I use it a lot, I'm gross. And then I bought these off of Amazon. I got in like a pack of six and I use it for setting my under eyes. You've seen it before on TikTok, I'm sure. And I really do like these, so I'll link these below and you can wash them and I just, it really makes your powder look a lot smoother. And then this is what I use to set my under eyes. I first do it with a loose powder and then I go over with this. I just add some extra coverage. I look beautiful. This is new to my collection. I got it for Christmas. I do like it so far. It's a blush palette. It's the new Pat McGrath palette. Let me swatch her for you. I never swatched it. It's very soft. Ooh, it looks very soft. Look at her. Shockingly, this like more nude shade is my favorite. So I wish I got the nude version of this palette, but I got the um, rose version. But you have good variety and colors. And then of course, the highlight. Very beautiful. Love. Now the rest of the majority of this section are all eyeshadow palettes. Oh, other than this, I cannot part ways. I just can't until it's empty. It's too much money too. But I do like these hourglass palettes a lot. Would repurchase if I didn't have this one. <laughs> this is the Master Mattes by Mario. Have an eyelash in there because I'm really sanitary. This is a really good basic palette if you just want to do a quick matte look. Of course, Natasha Denona. To be honest, don't reach for this too much. I feel like it's a little bit too cool toned for my everyday preference, but when you're feeling it, it is a very good palette. This one I've talked about many times. I like it, but it got destroyed literally in shipping. I returned it after it got destroyed and then I got a new one and that one also broke. So I don't know, this shadow just broke and I eventually just took it out because it was a mess. Don't reach for this much. I feel like these are hard panned. You know, mom? The one that I sell at my house? <laughs> no, Courtney bought this for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it like two years ago. I like the mattes a lot. The shimmers, it's just, they're just like a topper and I prefer something with more pigment, you know? It's not my favorite, but I know a lot of people like this. And then this is Pat McGrath. I really do love Pat McGrath. Shadows are just so expensive. These four are the ones I use all the time, or these five, I like don't pay attention to those five. So it's like, is it worth $128? I don't use that much sparkle that often. So I kind of stick to these five, which are really good quality. Like this is my favorite shimmer shade ever. So I do reach for it a lot. See, you know what I mean? This is like what I'm going for. Going for more of this less of this. And then this I got on sale during the Sephora sale for like three bucks. So I was like, whatever. Honestly, for $3 on sale, it does a good job, but it doesn't compare to Pat McGrath. So if you want something super cheap, I recommend this shadow from Sephora. And then this is like my favorite eyeshadow palette or one of them from Natasha Denona. I use it all the time, as you can tell. It's the mini nude palette. I love all my mini palettes, but this is another good one from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Pillow Talk Dreams palette. Love, if you like a pink eye. And I have another pink palette. This is also from Pat McGrath. It's a recent holiday collection. And I don't use it as often as I thought, just because I do wish it was a little bit more neutral, but I really like these three colors and I just kind of don't use these two as much. Let me just swatch. It's just so soft. It feels like you're touching butter. I don't, it's not swatching as good as it feels, but it literally feels like butter. And then I have this sample. 
from West Mid Atelier, which I need to use. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this out so I actually use it. Moving along to this random section. Guys, I kept this last time and I've never used it once. Am I gonna keep it again? I've not used it in the last six months from ColourPop. I feel like, what do we think? Fine, I'll try again. <laughs> but you know what I am gonna get rid of? This, I'm not that into sparkle. I never use it, it hasn't been used in years. It's probably gonna give me more styles. Then I have my powders here. This one, I don't think I'll repurchase it, but I need to finish it because I am too cheap to not finish it. I just prefer this for setting my under eyes. This is my favorite powder. If you want something that really looks like you're not wearing powder and has a nice little sheen that looks natural, it's from Hourglass. And then this has recently become my favorite under eye setting powder. It just makes everything look super smooth. And I have in the color Cupcake. I really wanna try it in the pink shade cherry blossom but cupcake works really good moving right along we have my bronzer and blush section this is an og i will repurchase I, it's like the only bronzer i use it just has the nicest most natural finish it has a nice sheen without being shimmery if you've never tried it recommend it's not that pigmented it's super easy to build up this is from patrick ta i don't think i'll repurchase this either once it runs out but we need to finish it this cream blush or cream bronzer i do like it's just it gets hair in it from the dogs and cat and it just kind of grosses me out <laughs> so it's not this it's not its fault it's my fault for being gross and then this powder bronzer i don't know i'm not crazy about the undertone of it and i just feel like the physician formula one blends out easier so here's that one and then i'll compare physician to it just the Physician's formula is so much softer. So you'll see Patrick Ta versus Physician's formula. This blush was my intro to Pat McGrath. I do like it a lot. This blush formula just makes your skin look super smooth. And I have this in the shade Cosmic Coral. And then of course, I've had this forever before it went viral actually. This is just, I don't use it that often, but when you want something cool toned and poppy, I do like this and it's not too overpowering, but you can build it up. This I have not used in years. I think I need to get rid of it. Every time I declutter, I say I'm gonna use it and then I never do. So it's really pretty. I just think it's too deep for me. I'm gonna get rid of it. This is another thing I got as a sample for a birthday. I've not used it once. It's in Laguna. I'll get rid of it. I never used it. There's no point keeping it. Then this is my favorite highlight from Hourglass. It's in Iridescent Strobe Light. It's just super natural on the skin, so we love her. This one, I'm not a super fan of, but I have so much of it left, I can't see parting with it yet. And it's an OG from Becca, which doesn't exist anymore. And then Makeup by Mario, I really like this blush as well. It's just, I feel like this blush doesn't add enough color-wise. I want something a little bit more pink or orange or coral or whatever. This is just too neutral, but I do like this when you want just a really neutral blush. It's in the shade Desert Rose and I'm dirty. And then this is supposed to be over there, so we'll leave that here. Moving on to my cream section, I have these two Merit blushes, which were gifted to me, but I do like them a lot, especially for the gym. They're just super easy to put on and you look like you have a natural glow and flush. So I have it in terracotta. I need to wash my hand, but I'll just show you. Terracotta, so it has a nice sheen. And then I have Cheeky. I definitely wear Cheeky more often, but they just have a very nice texture. And the Beauty Blender, which is gross. And then I have this from Bare Minerals. I don't think they sell this anymore, but this is a really good natural bronze to the skin. It's a liquid bronzer. And then I got this sample of Rare Beauty, which I do like. I want to get a bigger thing of Rare Beauty and the dewy finish. Super cute. And then this random Merit Beauty lipstick, which I need to use. So we're not going to get rid of it. Last but not least, my under eye corrector section. This one from LA Girl. It's good for a reference point and also when I'm super fair because this is a more fair color. I've done a review on it. I have this, of course. I'm going to put it over somewhere else. I know this is kind of random. But then I have this eyeshadow I use for inner corners from Sephora. Just a white. And then more under eye correctors. This, if you've watched my videos, you know this is my favorite. I'm going to need to repurchase it. It's from Charlotte Tilbury, and I've compared this to the Becca under eye corrector, which is now owned by Smashbox, but I like them both. Definitely like Charlotte Tilbury better. This one's more sticky and thick, but they both do a good job at correcting. And then I have my favorite primer from Tarte. This is my second jar of it. It's just good at 
pore smoothing. And lastly, but not least, another inner corner shadow I use from Tarte. At the top of here, I have like brushes and things up here, but I'm gonna keep all of my brushes and none of them really feel like they deserve a shout out other than this one from Real Techniques. This is what I use for cream contour and I just really like this Real Techniques brush. Real Techniques, where it's at. So I'll list this below too. So honorable mention for this brush, but all my bigger brushes are up in this top section up here. This is everything I'm getting rid of. How do we feel, guys? I got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine things. Not the worst I've done, I don't think, but you know, I just can't afford to be throwing things away willy-nilly. Here's the finished look. And here's what I'm getting rid of. I hope you guys are proud. So you guys, that was the video. I hope you liked it. I'm sorry I don't do the most satisfying decluttering because like I said, I'm a normal girl, don't have like a crap ton of makeup and I just like to hold on to things, okay? Please let me know what you guys wanna see next on my channel. I've been trying to get my hands on the new Rare Beauty Brightener but it's always freaking sold out. So that will be coming at some point as well as an updated under eye cream that I'm reviewing from Zio. So let me know what else you wanna see and make sure to like and subscribe. If you like this video, I will see you guys in two Wednesdays. Peace out. Bye, haters. Peace.